Hello, hello. Yeah, baby. Okay. Obviously, I'm feeling really depressed today. Okay, no, dude. I'm feeling good today. And I and I know I know why. Okay. All right. Here we are. Okay. Yeah, been a while since I've chimed in. Whatever. I think I got, I feel like I got a lot to say. I really do. I feel like I got a lot to say. I'll try to to work it all in. This is gonna be random. It's just gonna be yeah, like I always say. Okay. Uh, so first off. First off, I, dude, I, I really feel I just have stuck with the half a milligram. I didn't try to go back up. I didn't take a little bit more. And I feel like I've leveled off. I really do. Yes, the post-acute crap uh, and like that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're going to deal with that. I'm going to deal with it. Uh, but as long as I can get that, that, the stuff that isn't safe out of the way... I don't mind. I mean, it sucks. It's not like, oh, I don't mind. I do mind. I mind very much. It freaking sucks. And it sucks not sleeping and working and stuff, but, and being really depressed and having anxiety and stuff. It really, really sucks making the jump. Uh, but once it levels off, uh, it's, it's pretty manageable. It really is for me. It, you know, and, uh, right now I say that now I say that today, right now. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. Um, Man, I was gonna say more about that. I think I don't. I really don't know. Hmm. Spill. Um. Okay. But dude, I'm feeling freaking. Dude, I gotta tell you, feeling good today. So okay. Well, <laughs> one thing. One one reason why I know that I'm feeling better today, which is gonna sound really weird, maybe or maybe maybe not. I don't know. We're having we're having a lot of bad fires where I live, like. Like, we don't have to evacuate where I'm at yet, or maybe, you know, maybe not, though. Maybe not at all, uh, which is great. But, you know, it's it doesn't look good. Or, you know, you can tell that there's a lot of crap going on. There's fires all freaking around us. Well, anyway, uh, there's been a lot of people that have been, had to evacuate. A lot of people I know, family of mine, well, my freaking dad and my stepmom and my little brother, their house got burnt down and their shop, they've lost, they lost everything. Uh, last night, yesterday. Uh, so with all the, these fires going on and being on alert and all this crap, and I mean, I got lots of family. Sit, they have all to get move out of their houses for a while. I don't know. Um, it like lit a fire under me, no pun intended, but <laughs> but it lit a fire under me. And like I, I was talking to a guy yesterday. I think I actually told him that same exact stupid thing that I just said there. Uh, it just comes out. I don't know. Uh, it's it's authentic. There you go. Um, but. Uh, it's like it lit a fire under me. I was like, dude, I don't even remember my depression uh, with all that crap going on. Uh, and it's sad and it's terrible, dude. Um, in fact, I got a GoFundMe thing on my Facebook, So, which I, I don't know why you'd care about my dad and his house. But if you're feeling nice or something, they could really freaking use, yeah, use help. They don't got a lot of money. Uh, oh, and my dad's work. Um, I don't know. It might burn down. I don't even freaking know. It was still standing, but I mean, it, the fire's like, it was like, it's right. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Oh man, I'm getting off topic, aren't I? But that's just why. Okay. Yeah. That, that's, that's just crap going on. And that's why it like got me jolted and going. And here's the other reason why I, I think I'm feeling quite a bit better. Uh, so, okay, so my doctor appointment, my doctor's appointment. So I have been diagnosed as manic depressive. Surprise, surprise, right? Now, really quick though, because I've, okay, I've been off Suboxone 16 months. If you have been off Suboxone for like six months and you're just, and you, and you, and you feel like you're up and you're down and all around, don't go get, don't go get diagnosed. That'd be my, that, that's, that'd be what I would say. Cause more than likely they're, they're going to diagnose you with manic depressive depression or bipolar, whatever, bi bipolar. I say manic dep depressive. Uh, they're going to, they're going to diagnose you bipolar. 
Uh, not all the time, but it's very likely. I've talked to a ton of people, that, not a ton, of, a good amount of people that that exact thing has happened to them. I even made a video on like manic depression during recovery off of opiates or something like that. I don't even remember what I what the freaking title was. Um, because it's for real. It's for real, dude. It's it's for real when you use. You kind of I've said that before. Like, dude, when you when you're using, you kind of are living the life of a manic depressive. I mean, you really are. I mean, really, truly. I mean, especially like. Especially like with faster acting, anything you know, uh, you you really do. I mean, you get you get high. You, you you take your pills, okay, and then you wake up in the morning and whatever, and you're feeling not great. You're sweating. You're feeling down or whatever, and then you take them and you you instantly feel up or whatever it is. If it's whatever drug it is, okay, crack cocaine, whatever. And so you do. You live that. You, so you it's like we're you're doing that to your freaking your your body, okay. Uh, so that creates it. Well, then when you, when you, so when then when you recover, you, at least for me, it's been my experience and, and I have talked to many others, you know, that are coming off some boxes and stuff that have experienced just, it's, I call it the roller coaster from hell. That's what it is. You get overconfident, you're confident, you're feeling great one day and then you feel terrible for a week and then great for a couple days, whatever. So anyway, so all I'm saying is, you know, I was very aware of that when I went into this, okay? I was very aware of how they diagnose P or like, you know, what I've been going through and and they they would have a knee jerk reaction if I was completely uh how do I say this? I I held stuff back. We'll put it that way. I held stuff back and I really tried to focus on like who Gabe really is and 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 really try to get rid of cuz I know what I've been through the last year or whatever or from getting off the Suboxone and remember but I but that's kind of leveled out. I know I'm getting off the Benzo and stuff but uh you know I my I, yeah I got I got people on both sides of my family uh that have, that are and have been diagnosed and, and way some are way more severe uh than me. But uh not that that matters. But yeah, anyway, oh yeah, crap, okay. I, I hope this doesn't suck too bad. Uh, but anyway, so they put me on a mood stabilizer, okay? I've never had a mood stabilizer before. Uh, it takes a long time to build up in your system. Uh, you start out really, really slow. So I've only, I've only, yeah. So anyway, so I've been taking this mood stabilizer for like a freaking like a week and a half. And... Uh, I think it's helping. It must, right? It must. I don't know. I, I, sure. I'm stable. I feel pretty stable. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to be building up more. It would be, maybe it's working a little bit. I really do. I don't know. I don't feel, I'm not in freaking hell <laughs> right now. We went to like this birthday thing. Uh, well, it was a birthday. It wasn't a birthday thing. Yeah. What would be a birthday thing? It's like, well, it's similar to a birthday, but not quite. It's, it's a birthday thing. Okay. No. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was a little kid's birthday and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how good I did there. I really couldn't. I really, the, dude, that the day before I was in just a terrible, terrible place, not sleeping my head, you know, perpetual freaking benzo GD headache, GD, gosh darn. That's what that means too, by the way, when I say it, but I don't know, uh, but, uh, crap. But anyway, yeah, yeah, the day before I was like, dude, I don't know if I can go to this birthday party by the next day. You know, maybe, maybe that's my manic depression. Who knows? But either way, anyway, I had a good day at this birthday party thing. No. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? What was I talking about? It doesn't help my thinking, I guess, or it doesn't help me, uh, stay on topic, uh, any better, uh, which whatever. No, I, I don't even know how much it's, I, I think it's helping, but I, I don't know what it feels like yet, really, or you kind of get what I'm saying, which I don't know. Anyway. So yes, uh, I have been diagnosed as manic. So, uh, so again, I've said this before too. <laughs> Take everything I say with a with a grain of salt. You have to. You have to do that with anyone on YouTube, you guys. And I, I know I've said that so much, but you have to. You're not that person. That person's not you, which, yeah, that's pretty obvious. But, but yeah, you know, the bulk of, yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, that's, that's how it's going to be, you know? But not every little nook and cranny and how Gabe's handling this and, oh, man, he's so depressed or whatever. It's like, dude... You might have a better, great attitude, or, you know, and I, dude, I talked to people, dude, I had a really great attitude for a long time getting off Suboxone. I, looking back, I don't know how I did it. I really don't. I don't know how I made 140 freaking days of uh, video straight from day one to day 140 getting off Suboxone every day. I don't know how I did it. 
it, they were really helping me, you know, they, they really were. And then I just got exhausted. I was going to go to 150, day 150, and I just ran out of steam 10 days. I was like, screw this, I'm done uh, for a while. And then I think I was back on like two days later making some video. I just can't shut up. But, oh, yeah, I don't know what I was saying. Uh, so, yeah, you might have a better attitude than me or maybe a worse attitude, whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um... Uh... Dude, I know I have had more to say. I can't remember though. I really can't remember. But yeah, I'm 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 doing okay, and I'm still going. I know I've been, people have been hitting me up, asking where I am and wanting me to check in. And uh, I, I've kind of been camera shy lately, or just like I don't know. Lately, I just like I just haven't had a lot to say. You know, it's 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 really hard for me. I, I'm I'm gonna stay dedicated, you guys. You know that. You know I'm I'm. Obviously, I'm, I'm getting off crap, but I'm, I'm going to keep documenting this. I'm not going to just go away and leave and never come. Even if I, even if, I mean, I don't even want to say this, but like, even if I were to relapse, I'd come back on here and tell you guys. I care about way, way too many of you to not, to not do that. Um, so just know that. Um, I was going to say something else. I can't remember. I don't know. I really, whatever. <laughs> uh, what's, what's new, right? Um, but yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm really, I'm really doing all right. Okay. So stay positive, keep freaking going, man. And just dude, I don't know. You never know what's around the corner. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I mean, if you really are struggling with mental illness, go get help, you know, and, and I'll, and I will tell you, dude, I, I, you know, I've been against this kind of stuff my whole life. It's funny, though. I'd self-medicate with opiates. But I was like, I'm not taking an antidepressant or blah. But, um, you know, it, it's crazy. So they tried me. I'm just going to blab, I guess. Whatever. Uh, but they tried me on Zoloft. And I got serotonin syndrome. I don't know why. Because my chemo... Like, however I'm freaking made up. I don't know. And that dude... Dude, I need to make a frick. I need to make a video on what serotonin syndrome feels like, cause it is, it's it's terrible. It's terrible. It, it's it's truly terrible. Okay, uh, it is. It's just terrible. I'm gonna make a video on what it feels like. Maybe tonight. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe I might. I'm feeling kind of good. We'll see. Um, and then they tried me on Wellbutrin. Well, you shouldn't take Wellbutrin if you're. Yeah, check this out. If you have a history of seizures, check for me. Uh, if you are currently taking a benzo check, especially if you are decreasing or tapering, <laughs> tapering from the benzo check, well, I felt like I was going to have a seizure. It did kind of help mainly with the energy levels and stuff. Uh, but, uh, it, I, I, I knew I was going to have a seizure if I kept taking it. So I stopped taking that. Then the doctor's like, well, here, trazodone's an antidepressant. Here's 25 milligrams of trazodone. And I'm like, oh gosh, you know? So I just like, I just was like, I, I was just done. I just like gave up. I gave up. And I was like, I'm not going to try that crap anymore. And then things got so bad. And my doctor's like, you need to see a psychiatrist, all that jazz. You guys already know that. And yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. We we will see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, you guys want to know what I'm taking? Lamictal. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. It's like the first time I've been able to remember how to what it's called. I I can never remember. I'm like la lament la, you know, lament lamentations. Okay. Anyway. Here we go, or here we, here, here we, here, here I go, there we go, okay. V4, victory baby, alright, dudes, legit though, dude, pray for me and like my family and stuff with these fires, it's freaking for real, and it sucks, the air quality, actually the air quality where I live is like the worst that you can get right now, it's, it's beyond hazardous, it's black, that's, yeah, you know they have like, green's fresh, yellow's getting moderate, and like, Reds this and dark reds this. Well, then the, the next one's just black. Uh, and uh, that's what we are. <laughs> we're, we're in the black. So I think, yeah, with the air quality, it's, it's just black. I don't, think, I don't think that's very good. I think you want, like, the fresh... I don't know, green, though? If they're green air, I mean, that's probably, like, a gas. But I don't know. Green, you know, people think green and trees and oxygen and stuff. Okay. All right. God bless all y'all. Hopefully this video didn't suck too bad. Hopefully I'm not too manic and all over the freaking place. But I'm feeling good. Let's be encouraged. All right. V for victory. God bless and salute.